Guten Tag and welcome back everybody to Survival Enhanced on the Survival Enhanced server. Hey, hey guys, how are you doing? How was your weekend? I hope it was fine, just like mine. I had an awesome weekend. We had, uh, for the birthday of my, uh, of my wife, we had our families over, hers and mine, and uh, we, we did a little barbecue in the garden and uh, stuff like that. It was actually really awesome and i hope you had a similarly similarly <laughs> awesome weekend than i had inventory i try to type inventory okay so um starting off with a rather minor task i want to improve our inventory situation and by that i mean our actual uh, personnel uh, inventory Upgrade. There we go. We can eat a cake and with said cake we would be able to expand our inventory um, by another inventory that we can access uh, independently. So when we look at this here and the chest is easy, um, the raw salmon should be easy because we have the automated fishing thingy over at spawn. Diamond, emerald and nether quartz is really easy. Cookie. So, when we look at cookie, we need cocoa beans. And earlier today, because I want to test uh, the new server, we moved the server to, uh, to Sabres because he has an actual server farm at his home. Um, and I was hoping that we run into less problems, for example, with the Botania thing, with the um, uh, vanishing mana and stuff like that well, unfortunately it didn't help but at least we do not have to pay uh, creeper hosts invoice anymore that looks odd where's the rest of my map oh i see because it's a different server i have to copy the map though whoop um so but over here i was just flying um straight east to see if we get any lags and stuff like that. And because the server is in Canada and I am in Germany, I was afraid of a lot of lag and it actually is not the best in terms of latency. We are sitting over 200, sometimes over 300, but it's just Minecraft. I think it will do. But what I want to say is over here is a jungle biome. So I actually discovered the jungle biome, um, but I flew away without taking anything. <laughs> so I can either go back there and grab the cocoa beans I need, or we can transform um, pumpkin seeds into cocoa beans. And therefore I have the pumpkins here. I will just grab four of those, I think. That is not the way it works. Do we need an alchemy catalyst? I am pretty sure we we do. And we... Didn't we do that? Wait, didn't I craft one? Well, obviously not. I would have it otherwise. Okay, no, we will then do that. That shouldn't be too... Oh, yes, I know. Uh, I was missing mana for the mana pearl, so all we need is an ender pearl and we are set. Ender. There we go. This should be... It is. Good. Now let's see that we craft the alchemy catalyst. El oh, we just need to fit it in here. And we are good. Okay. Uh, let me prepare something. It's not the most beautiful thing in the world, but it works. Uh, underneath here, there's a piston, a sticky piston with a catalyst on top. And when you watch here, the bottom of this here, you can see, boop, there's the catalyst. Okay, now it works. Let's do the pumpkin seeds. Now we have cocoa beans, very nice. Okay, inventory. Was there something else that was complicated? I actually can't remember. Now we have the cookies. Let's see, what, what do we have? Okay, so that all is missing. We even have salmons. All right, pretty good. We need one of those. Okay, this is, everything is pretty much straightforward, except um, pumpkin. Can we do that? Do we have eggs? We actually do, nice, okay. 
and then we need uh, the last thing is the cake and we can't do the cake because we do not have milk and milk is kind of a problem um, there is this cow in a jar and I changed the recipe to have it like this what is this life upgrade oh it belongs to okay I see good but we actually need milk for that that is um, not easily obtainable, I think, because I uh, never figured out how this... Well, I didn't even look it up, to be honest. Um, but we have... Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We, I want to go out, thank you very much. We have the cows here, uh, but I don't think... Yeah, I mean, this is a bull. I don't want to milk a bull. Um, but she won't give us milk because... I actually don't know why. Well, first of all, the water froze again. Thought that might be a reason. Now they can drink. And they will actually... They need food as well. So what do we... Okay, uh, let me prepare that and I will be back when I'm um, prepared to actually craft the thing. All right, so way out here I found a cow. Let's hope. Yes. Okay, we now have a bucket of milk. That is actually good. We get the regular bucket of milk out of it because I need that. What is that? That is a skeleton. What is that though? Who are you? Shadow monster. Do you hurt? Ah, oh, well, not that much. And you are gone. Now, yeah, okay. Do you give me anything? Shadow jump chart. Um, what? Oh, I <laughs> rearranged the inventory. What can I do with it? Nothing. Used in Necronomicon ritual. Whoa, that sounds dire. All right, so um, we're done out here. Let's see. Um, do I have? Oh, <clears throat> sorry. What uh, what is missing right now is the potato, uh, the poisonous um, art, and um, to make that, I just assure, I just uh, collected these potatoes. These are wild potatoes. Oh, I'm flying in the wrong direction. I am so flying in the wrong. Oh, by the way, I reloaded the um, JEI. That was uh, formerly. Now, of course, the jungle is gone. <laughs> so it's either or. Um, where is home? What is... Where are we? Let's see. There. So south of here is the village. Oh, oh, oh no. Okay. Uh, and from the village, we can actually flu through to our home it should come up any second now i will meet you in my cave yeah it seems we have actually another kind of problem currently uh, because the mana is still here but the mana spreader is facing the wrong direction and it's facing in that direction west so i will reconnect it here so it can unload and this here is still connected. Yeah, this was now quite a few times. Uh, I come online. That spreader is facing due west. This spreader here is facing to the runic altar. So it has to be something with the connection of the mana pool to the mana spreader. And I have actually no idea why. Uh, or what it is. I saved all our money, uh, money? <laughs> mana into those uh, files. So we do um, at least not lose any. It is night. Let me sleep. I planted one of the potatoes over here. And uh, I'm wasting a bunch of bone meal on it to... Oh, yes, we got one. To get a poisonous potato. Now we have plenty of potatoes and one poisonous. So uh, I think this should be actually enough. No, we do not have enough milk. Um, yeah, what I have to do 
is place bits over here so this stops freezing uh, and then I will uh, what was it oh yes make um, milk in a jar what was it cow in a jar or something uh, there we go jar a cow in a jar yeah we need a bucket of milk we made that raw beef I have no idea if I have any beef uh that is actually not good. What do I do? So I can use any of the the beef kinds. Uh, but how do I get more? Okay, uh, this will most likely take a while. I will feed the um, the cows upstairs and try to get them to breed, and then we will see how that turns out. I did all the preparations necessary and I'm hitting my microphone. <laughs> okay, so my chair was bumping the stand. Good. Now, uh, you can see we have everything we need to actually build the inventory upgrade and we will do and we get an achievement. Nice. So eat the cake. Oh, we actually have to have hunger. All right. Well, obviously it's... Uh, it's um, uh, food, <laughs> so <laughs> that's the word. And now by pressing um, I, because I uh, reconfigured that already, we can access our, it, no, we can access our additional inventory. We can also access it by clicking I here. The bubble slot is here. The inventory is here. Pressing I will do exactly the same. And I will store um, all the things uh, like building tools and stuff like that, all the wands, all the books, uh, things we usually store in here. Um, so we would have all the, the tools we would use regularly. Uh, we would have in here and therefore have more space available in our regular vanilla um, inventory. Okay, this time, oh, no, like nothing to undo. Of course, I didn't want to do that. This is... Yeah, now this is not connecting. See? This is crazy. Why is that happening? This is connected to this. And this isn't connected. Well, now it is, but it wasn't. Okay, that's really bad. No, good. First task of the day, handled. Uh, one of the other things I did so far <laughs> is obviously breeding chicken. I am quite unsure if I bred chicken or bunnies. At the amount of repopulation I'm looking at, this is more like bunnies, I think. Uh, we will actually... No, we won't. I can't throw eggs. I can place eggs, although this wasn't what I wanted to do and now it's gone. Okay, weird. So you can see here we have um, seeds. Can I pick them up? Oh, I can't. I can't just destroy it. Okay, by seeds, by right-clicking seeds um, on the grass, you can place them like this. And uh, as you saw there, they will pick it from the ground, which is really nice. Uh, I've added a bunch more troughs here. Oh, he's, he's not weak no, now. Okay, uh, I've added a bunch of troughs here for water and for wheat. Because these animals, the um, the cows, are eating wheat and not the, um, what was the thing that the pigs eat? A uh, bucket or I don't know. Slob. A bucket of slob with the milk and the carrots and stuff like that. And I added a roof here, um, just a basic roof, so we avoid the snow falling onto the ground. Later I will maybe add leaves to make it look like more natural and even um, perpendicular lines here. So we have the outer lines here and then these and perpendicular to those uh, I add another layer and then maybe leaves on top and maybe let them hanging through or stuff like that. But that will take a lot of time uh, with chisels and this took already quite a bunch of time. And uh, what I actually wanted to do today 
I need to go back into my hole so I can actually grab a few things. What I actually wanted to do today is um, starting the vanilla magic stuff. Because we have vanilla magic installed, um, I mean, obviously, I want to look into it. Get that out of my sight here. Oh, seems good. Okay, now grab all the books. And what is the basic? Let's see. There is the basic stuff and, and um, altar crafting, vanilla magic spells, altar building, other stuff, item upgrading, yeah, so on, so on, so on. Okay, the best thing in my um, experience so far is starting with a mod by looking at its achievements. We have mm, here, vanilla magic achievements here. Can we always oh, can zoom? That is, I never tried that. Is that a regular feature? <laughs> it better is. Okay, you can see here, um, craft a stick. That is the very basic uh, achievement we want to get to start crafting things with another magic. Now, and then we have all these surrounding achievements here. We crafted a portable crafting table, which is just a vanilla crafting table. Uh, and then we want to go into altar building here because I want to look into, I think these are here on this, on this corner here. This must be the quarry ones. And uh, there's actually an auto crafting system that is right here, but it's, I, I don't really understand it. It's rather unhandy. Uh, and I want to look into that later, but we have a bunch of stuff we can do. What is this here? This is nothing. No tooltip, nothing. Well, maybe it's too far away from any given achievement. Okay, now, what we actually want to do is um, start with building this altar, altar tier one. And we have almost here, just craft a cauldron. That is pretty easy. A cauldron. This is a regular cauldron. Crafted, there we go. And achievement taken. And then we want to look into altar building this is this one here and it says build a three by three thir circle a circle <laughs> a circle with redstone dust and place a cauldron in the middle that is obviously easy okay redstone and i want to build it on some sort of bricks no i don't like that um, I want to take here. Yeah, we have cracked bricks and we have weathered bricks. Those I like the most. Good. Head outside. Uh, and I think we will for now build it here. Hmm, I don't want to build it, or maybe here. I don't want to build it on top here because this is where the longhouse, uh, the longhouse is supposed to be. So maybe, hmm. Maybe here with the ISIS. I actually don't know how big this thing will be. Uh, yeah, I will. I will actually carve out this area here and build the altar here. See you in a second. The altar is supposed to go in the middle, and then it is to be surrounded with a three by three area of redstone. One, two, three. Yeah, this is just a circle. There we go. And then we have to touch it. Uh, where was it? Altar building. There it goes. Here. Uh, at one block of iron. Oh, okay. On each corner of altar tier one, but one layer lower than the cauldron. He's missing articles <laughs> than cauldron. <laughs> Outside of the redstone circle and replace and replace the cauldron. No. What? Do I have to place it last? I do. Okay, good. Now this is this is now the oh, what can I do with it? Um altar crafting. Craft gunpowder. Ah, I see. For example, sugar cane and coal onto an altar tier one and right click with a stick wand in hand. Now, what was the thing with the wand? We have to rename something. 
here craft a stick no where was it we have to craft this um it's like a want for the book for the mod oh here craft stick rename it in the anvil to stick want i'm pretty sure i never did that but it says taken so did i actually do that hmm let's see is there a stick want in the system stick here are just sticks nothing else okay so head over to the end we have to add the anvil to that there i mean that is the forge right the blacksmith and the anvil is exactly where <laughs> what did i what did i do with my anvil here it goes okay uh, we will place it actually over oh no uh, we saw already we need four iron blocks ah it doesn't matter we can get it from the inventory system in the forge as well i think good uh, place it here that seems fitting and we have to rename this with stick wand good this is now a stick wand okay it said sugar cane and coal I'm curious and I want to test that. Coal. Do we have sugar cane? We do. Actually, 800. That's quite a bit. Nice. Okay. Now, this is supposed to go. And then. No. Most likely inside. Yes! Look at that! Okay, now we can, like a transmutation table, right? We can, um, we can, we have additional uh, recipes for transmutating or stuff like that. Now, let's see. Alter crafting. What can we do? Gunpowder, sugar, dirt, sand, cobblestone, uh, gravel, leather, clay. Clay was, was a, um, was a achievement was it i saw clay earlier here craft clay craft leather that is first this is the altar tier two craft okay all of those are actually some sort of of achievement i want to go down in this direction though so what we have to do is craft altar tier two and see what this here is and go down to here most likely um requires smelting yeah okay now build an altar tier two we already know what we are supposed to do we are running out of space very soon i think maybe okay let me prepare something oh, i replaced it a little bit so we have more room to play with and the next thing is that we have to replace those four blocks with iron with iron blocks that is so like here 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 and here and replace the cold one and yes alto t2 good and now we have to replace oh um oh let's look at this the next thing is gold i think yeah like this so these blocks here um must be gold like here good gold 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 replace the cauldron once more yep tier three and then the next tier is redstone and the redstone is supposed to go on the outer corners but in the same like like here yeah 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 that that looks good at least it makes symmetrical sense, right? <laughs> uh, good. Redstone here, here. Man, I'm all business today. Okay, I'm so focused. Um, good. Alter tier 4. Now, let's look at the achievements once again. Uh, we are down to here. Craft iron ore. Craft rotten flesh. No. What is this here? blaze rod requires tier hmm oh yeah, yeah, yeah vanilla quarry okay 
So we are already too deep. Uh, that, that doesn't matter. Good. Next thing is smelting. Toss smeltable items, example beef, iron, ore, ba ba ba, into altar tier 3 and right click with stick wand in right hand and fuel in left hand. Okay. Now grab ore. Um, do we have any ore left? We process all that. We have none left. Can that be? Is everything processed? Nah, that can't be. Oh, it's just in here. Okay. Uh, we didn't use it. Okay, that makes sense. Grab a bit of coal. The stick wand. Let's see. The coal in left hand. The stick in that hand. The iron must be dropped inside. Like this. And then click it. All right. Wow. Okay, that is fast. And it used up eight coal. Eight coal, that is exactly the same amount as a regular fur. <laughs> a, a regular furnace would have taken. Uh, eight pieces of coal smelt one stack of iron. That does make sense. It's not overpowered. It's just faster. That is a book, not a sleeping mat. Okay, let's sleep the night away and focus on the next tier. Good. Uh, alter. No, look at the achievements. I really want to get some of those vanilla quarries running um, because I think that can be very useful. Okay, this is, this is now um, the quarry already. Place cauldron. Then on the left side... Well, let's see. Do we have a book about quarries? Quarry upgrade, other stuff, magic spells, altar crafting, altar building. Other stuff. Let's look at other stuff. Craft stick, auto crafting, no, craft cauldron, tool upgrade, smell. Well, no, quarry, there it is. Okay. This is the layout. What is this? Uh, on the left side. Okay, let me read through this and then we try to build one of those. If I understood that right, we need to build um, a, the next level first by replacing these here with lapis. Uh, because we need to, to make a blaze wand. Uh, the blaze achievement is below tier 4. Four, five, tier five of the altar. So we want to place the. It actually looks kind of nice. Uh, we want to replace the altar first. Where's the cauldron gone? There we go. No. Like there. Thank you very much. Okay. Now we have access um, to here. Pick blaze rod from the ground, rename it in the anvil to blaze wand. Now, we don't have a blaze at hand, but we have a blaze rod. And it just says pick it up, right? So we pick it up. Yes, it counts. Good. Then, uh, what did he say? Blaze wand? I think. So rename this here to blaze wand. Take it. Okay, now we have a blaze wand. <laughs> At least I hope so. Now, to actually build the mine, I will go underground. Because um, when it cuts a hole into the surface, I don't want to have that on the surface. Makes sense, right? So I rather want to have it here. Although, where is all the... Oh, I want to see caves. No. No. Caves. Mm. Why does it not show our caves? I don't know. Okay. Uh, just try to build it here, I think. Let's see. There is supposed to be a cauldron. Then... Where's the book? Um, other stuff, right? Okay, go through it. There it is. Vanilla core here. Uh, the cauldron, a diamond block, a redstone block. 
Does it actually matter in which direction these are? Does it? Now when I here have the cauldron, I want to have the diamond block there, the redstone block there, a chest with fuel on top. I don't have fuel, I will grab a bunch of um, coal for that purpose. Let's see. Coal, no, yeah, coal, okay. Uh, just a stack, I think, to get it going. So the fuel is supposed to go here. Then, oh, there's, there's the coal, okay. And then shift right click the cauldron. Yes! Oh. Yeah, exactly what I was thinking. It will actually cut a hole in the ground. Do you hear the rooster? Is it on top of us? Oh, almost. Yeah, so it will actually cut a hole in the ground. As you can see. <laughs> so it will cut all the way to bedrock. Most likely. Do we have any sort of block here? I want to cut that lava. Ah! We have the lava charm, it's fine. It just hurts a bit. <laughs> okay, now this is cut. Well, actually, this does exactly. Oh, there goes the next row. How much. How much does it cut? Well, how far is this? So. Uh, this here marks the corner when I would have to guess because this is exactly the corner now and it cuts in that direction. Uh, give blocks. Now let's see how many blocks do we have. 17 meters. 17 meters seems odd. I would have expected 16 like one chunk well what do i know okay oh it stopped fuel's gone i have to experiment with fuel um when it counts the fuel values correctly i think the best way to go would be the the um the cave coal here this one but if it doesn't, if it acts like regular coal, we would just lose a bunch of coal. Okay, we will wait here until it stops. Yeah, it stops. So it uh, did a bit over a row, I think. Now add in the cave coal. And this should last at least the same amount. No, it last. It should last longer. That was the blue one. The blue one is 8 times 8, so 64 times a regular coal. Good. I will wait until it finished. Yeah, we have a little problem here. <laughs> so the thing is still going. Obviously, the cave coal is more worth in terms of fuel than the regular coal. But the chest is full. So we have to replace the chest. Um, I have none on me, though. And I'm pretty sure if I start replacing this one... Oh, gosh! Okay, I will have to grab another chest. Let's see. Uh, hello. Thank you. Um, do we have... Yeah, crystal chest. That will do. Okay. Uh, do we have a sack of holding? Otherwise, <laughs> all the content will squirt over everywhere shoot just one with another core can we can we make another one what is missing seriously okay i will come on here <laughs> place that there it doesn't make any sense i know okay oh pick it up pick it up place it Please go inside the chest. It doesn't. 
It doesn't recognize the chest. Uh, in fact, it stopped altogether. Oh, shoot. Yeah, reasoning is because I destroyed this chest here. The altar was not the same altar anymore. Therefore... Oh, no, that was wrong. So, there has to be clearly another way. It doesn't even work. Um, hello. Where's the cauldron? What? What happened there? Where's the cauldron? Why is it gone? That does not make any sense. Um, cauldron, hello? Hmm, okay, craft a new one. It seems odd. Why is the cauldron gone? Yeah, and this starts placing <laughs> um, trees in my base. Cauldron. Okay, give me a cauldron. Yeah. <laughs> Hope it tastes well. Uh, good. Get over here. Place that down. Hit it. Um, did it work? I have no idea. Okay, let's see what can we do to improve that. Uh, we need... Well, coal doesn't make any sense, right? Uh, we At least we have to check if it is still functional. And now I have the cauldron? Are you kidding me? Coal started. Does it do anything? Yeah, now we are screwed or something. Oh, it starts over. You can see the lava blocks down there disappear. So it starts here every time. Yeah, so the system is actually working and it is working really good. There are also... Let's look at that. Um quarry upgrades here there are speed upgrades here fortune add a lapis block we can add silk touch to it by adding a quartz block a gold block um auto smelt even although we don't want that because we would lose um half of the yield right fortune uh, more fortune auto inventory output placer does that mean it would place additional chests and empty pages? Okay, so I have to come up with a place where we actually want to have that. Because now I have uh, a hole in the ground. That is not the most liked thing I would like to have. So, um, what do we do about it? Okay, first of all we need... We need a place where we can dig a hole. Maybe I will I will even go way out and do it somewhere else and add a chunk loader. Which is most likely the best thing to do. Yeah, I will consider that. Um, and I will I will fiddle around with the upgrades. And of course, we have to add a system. Oh low. Uh, where we actually can where we can uh, pick the things from the chest and bring it automatically into our inventory system so we can actually smelt it and stuff like that that would make sense right good but this is it for today we did plenty of things and i'm pretty sure the episode is already way too long we um we added a little roof over our kettle we have to remove that as well um let me oh no you know what um grab it place it there so it can actually give me my backpack. Thank you very much. Now <laughs> pick this core up again. Thank you. Okay. Otherwise we would have uh, trees all around. Good. Now we um, we roofed the cattle. Did any trees grow? Doesn't seem that way. And we... Oh, God. 
<laughs> okay, so we actually have to stop the population of the chicken. Maybe by adding hoppers under the nests to pick them out instead of breeding them further and further. Okay, they stop breeding because they are out of food. But these don't breed. Yeah, he's weak again for absolutely no reason. He has food, he has water. Maybe the bull is bugged. I don't know. But I will figure out what is wrong with the bulls um, someday. And we added the additional inventory, which is a really big helper in our daily adventures. And of course, we built the altar and the... I pronounce that rather weird, do I? Hmm. Uh, the altar and the uh, quarry, which is amazing. And with the sight on the quarry, now on the altar, we will see us again next time. <laughs> Take care of yourself, guys, and rock on.